It's no doubt that James Charles is one of the most talked about influencers lately, and it's usually because of some kind of drama. Earlier this year, it was the Tati Westbrook feud when he was apparently cancelled and lost about a million YouTube subscribers, which never happens. I'm sure you already know, but Tati had accused him of sexually harassing straight men or boys, but all of it was denied, with James saying, I have never and would never and will never use my fame, money, or power to manipulate or get any sexual actions from a guy. That is disgusting. It is not me and the fact that Tati brought this up blows my mind. Once all this drama was put to rest in the two let things go, James regained a bunch of followers back. Now he's at almost 16 million on his Instagram and over 16 million subscribers on his YouTube channel. So we know James is a famous YouTuber, makeup artist, beauty guru, social media star, influencer, and more. He's also the first male ambassador for the brand CoverGirl. But pretty sure the thing that we're hearing and seeing the most of lately is none other than his butt. I mean, who hasn't seen the infamous mirror selfie? Not only was it considered inappropriate because, well, it's a nude, it made headlines because everyone's wondering if the dude's butt is fake or not. I really can't say I see males with booties like that often, if ever. Even women. James is only 20 years old at the time of this recording, but he has been speculated in the past to have maybe gotten some work done too, even though he denies it. I've been doing some digging and I want to get to the bottom of this. I want to know just as badly as you guys if James Budd is fake or all natural. My bets are on fake. What's going on guys and girls, my name is Kara and this series we've titled Before and After. Today we're going to look at James, some rumored work he's had done, his look, and of course the main mystery of his butt. We've done other celebrity transformation videos including ones on Nikita Dragon and Tati Westbrook and we'll have links to those at the end of this video. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm going to be responding to some at the end of this. As always, if there's anyone else you want me to document, let me know in the comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Before we start discussing James Butt, we're going to look at any other work people think he may have had done. He does have the total Instagram face, so I wouldn't be surprised if he enhanced things a little. And to clarify, I think the Instagram face is just how a lot of influencers look unnaturally perfect. A lot get work done to achieve this with the small noses, big lips, and perfect cheekbones. And a lot of it can be facetune, filters, and good makeup. James is famous for his pro makeup skills and does plenty of influential celebrity makeup in his vlogs, so it's no doubt he's great at the glow up. Some have accused James of getting a nose job, but I don't know if that's true. He's changed a lot since he was a kid, even tweeting out, Thank God for braces, scissors, a better taste in clothing, lip filler, makeup, and a little face tune. At least the dude seems honest. And let's be real, everyone changes after puberty. It looks like as a kid, James still had a similar nose, so I think his nose looking perfect is just his contouring as well as photo editing. It's not like he did admit to using Facetune anyways. There's even pics online showing an unedited pic of James before and then how he looks after Facetune. Pretty crazy. Just there you can see his nose looks natural in the original shot and drastically changes after the edits. I think there's the answer. But then others comment on YouTube vids saying he's had more than one nose job, so I really don't know. The only thing that we have proof of James getting done to his face are lip fillers. Children's game. Really? Mm -hmm. You didn't know that, Laura? No, what the f***? I mean, it's scary. <laughs> it's a myth. I mean, it's just a contact sphere. It's like, that's so funny. But it doesn't. That isn't considered plastic surgery though and he doesn't hide it. I think his lips going from thin to plump made enough difference in his appearance to change the look of his face, so I don't really think anything else is going on there. Not gonna lie though, some of James' face tune pics are pretty creepy. He looks like a mannequin. Other times, fans have things to say about his appearance just because they think he isn't being real. Like when he was doing Kylie Jenner's makeup and filming a vlog. Are you the most excited in the entire world? <laughs> You could put that in, it's cool. Honestly, I never really get crazy with my eyes like this, but I really love you this. You always this is like crazy for your eyes. Yeah. This, of course it's crazy that. for my eyes. What's crazy for, for your eyes? A mm, lot more than this. And James and Kylie posted a selfie saying, bare-faced sisters, implying well that they were bare-faced. Although maybe they didn't have makeup on, people accuse that this wasn't all natural, considering they have lip enhancements, microbladed eyebrows, and Kylie has lash extensions in the picture. You get the idea. Basically printing a false picture. Oh, and James doesn't even have freckles, so he painted them on. Okay, so all of this considered, I wouldn't say James is all natural, but I still don't think he's gotten any major face surgeries or anything like that. 
Not to my knowledge anyways. Now for the main attraction. And don't lie, I know you probably clicked this because you're curious about the butt as well. I think that selfie is pretty hard to unsee. James looked like he's skinny with a big butt now. This whole James Charles butt drama started when he was hacked. He decided to release what was, quote, the only nude he's ever taken. Enter the butt selfie. So yes, plenty of people found the photo offensive since the dude is naked, but more importantly, it got people frantically wondering if the butt is real or fake. This isn't the first time James has shown off his booty. There was that time at Coachella with the assless chaps, and this time at a basketball game where the butt was seriously sticking out. So I've heard that James actually didn't get anything done to his butt and some say that it's photoshopped because it isn't even that big in person. I've never met James or seen his butt in person so this I can't confirm but I would have to say that's some serious photoshop. If James got some work done, it would have to be some injections or a Brazilian butt lift, which is the most popular booty surgery that I know of, and it's a type of fat transfer to make the hips and butt area bigger. James denied having any work done once rumors started circulating after the nude, taking to Twitter saying, People are seriously asking me if my body from last night is actually real. Yes, to answer your question, it is. But there's also a video online of James allegedly showing off a new butt and some curvy looking hips. Seemed pretty convincing to me until I saw comments online saying he's just wearing butt pads. I don't even know anymore. Everyone has reasons for why James hasn't gotten any work done to his butt, whether it's because of Photoshop or it's not big enough to be fake, or if he got it done he wouldn't be able to sit down for weeks. But at the same time, when the online world is asked, more think it's fake than not. Which I have to be frank with you guys, it looks like he has ass implants. Because it is way too it's big, intense. way too voluptuous, <laughs> and he is tiny, like a tiny little twink, like skinny little twink, and it looks like he has a head ass implants. <laughs> so, but it's fat, dude. It's a fat <laughs> ass, dude. Everyone's like, whoa. So James Charles was trending. I was like, what's going on? And then I see this, and I was like, oh boy. I think I'm left even more confused than before. Looking at that selfie James posted, I think it's impossible that it's all natural. But once the Facetune argument comes in, I'm really not so sure. James was definitely living for the attention, though. He's not the first celebrity recently to release their own nudes as a means of standing up for themselves. This happened to Bella Thorne, too. But is it bad for me to say I think James is just happy putting his butt selfie out there for the world to see? I definitely don't think the guy's insecure at all. He's pretty infamous for showing himself off, that's for sure. She had the audacity to get up there and lie the house and sit there and say, well, I'm very self-conscious about my body. Really? You're self-conscious about your body when you post all your butt all over Instagram? That doesn't make no sense. If you're really self-conscious about your body, you would not post your butt on Instagram. Okay, you would not be going on their topless and shirtless, the whatever, the house. In general, James has changed quite a bit over the years, but mostly just because he's gotten super glam and keeps getting better with makeup as he gets older. And maybe with editing his pics too. I don't know about work that James has gotten done for sure. Yes, he fills his lips, but I'm not sure about a nose job. Even though his butt selfie is shocking and it looks too plump to be true, he hasn't admitted to getting any work done there either. He denies it. It could be his Photoshop skills, some squat workouts, or even a good angle, but I personally was convinced that James has gotten some booty enhancements. If he did get butt injections or a Brazilian butt lift, he isn't ready to tell us yet. What do you guys think? Do you believe James and the fans who say it's all just editing and poses? Or do you think it's a fake butt? Let me know in the comments down below. Okay guys, it's time for me to read out some of the comments from our previous videos and see what you guys are saying. This was from a before and after on Tati Westbrook. AM said she definitely has implants. Maybe not at the time she was asked, but yeah. I agree with you AM. To me, it looked like they were fake, but I wasn't sure. That makes me feel like my thoughts were right. 
Either way, they look good. On our Catherine Pays Before and After video, Skittle Boys is in the comments as usual with positive vibes, so giving you a shout out too. On the same Catherine Pays video, Wanda said, that's not even her. I'm not sure what part you're talking about, but that's definitely all Catherine and in the thumbnail. She still looks pretty much the same to me in that pic. I've been loving all the positive feedback from you guys and the suggestions on who to make our next videos on too. I read them all, even the negative ones and the mean people out there. We see you too. All right, guys and girls, that wraps up this video here in before and after. If you want to talk more about James Charles' transformation or those butt rumors, you can hit me up on Instagram. Let me know who else you would like me to make a before and after video on, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.